Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to show you how to do a sum of values inside a data table repeaters in Action 10. So if you're interested as usual subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment and uh, that's it. Let's get started. Here we are inside Action. So, what we have on screen is a simple table, right? And uh, what we can see is that we have, for example, some uh, different uh, statuses for each payment. For example, in this case, we have pending payments, so people that didn't pay yet, and uh, people that already paid, right? And we have some different statuses, for example, right? Pending and paid. So the goal of this tutorial is to put next to grand total and pending what? So next to grand total, we are going to put the amount of all, okay, the payments uh, paid and pending. And in the, uh, next to the pending payments, we're going to put only the, pay the pending one, right? Quite, quite simple, right? So, and first of all, I want to show you how I created and I differentiate basically these two different tags or statuses that we have inside the data uh, table. And to do so in this case, only in this case, what I used is actually two different text widgets with different uh, styles, as you can see with background colors, etc. So. One is the paid that is always shown and the pending one that is actually hidden. And what I'm, uh, I'm saying basically to Axure is with, let's, let's see it together. So uh, the pending payments here, you can see. So if the item status, item dot status. So I'm going to check basically status here in the repeater data here, pending, paid, pending, paid, you see, it's equal to pending. So if it's equal exactly to pending, then you have to hide the paid tag and you have to show the pending one. So this is super simple to do, right? You can achieve this uh, uh, using this uh, technique or you can use actually a simple dynamic panel and you can switch between statuses based always on, on, on what is written in the repeater data, right? This is quite simple, but let's go inside the core of the tutorial. So what we have to do first is uh, to create two, two, two global variables. One for the grand total and one for the pending payments. Why this? Because we're going to take, okay, these values and we have to show them inside the text next to the uh, labels that we have now. So let's do it. Project global variables and let's create a first variable. Let's uh, just change the first one and let's say this is grand, oops, grand total. Okay, this is the grand total. And we add a new one that is depending, okay? So we created the two global variables. Now, what we have to do is to set on load of the items, okay, of the item of the data table, these two variables to zero. This is crucial, right? So let's create a new case and let's say if the text value, okay, so and, and follow me here, of what? Of the item dot first in the repeater data set we have item dot first. So if the first item, okay, the first item has been loaded, okay, if item is first, then, and, and it's equal to text value always, true. So if, again, the first line, the first item has been loaded, okay, okay, then we have to put what? the variable value of grand total 
equal to zero and the value of pending same thing to zero okay we have first of all to put this on top because this is the first thing that actually should do when actually this um, this uh, data table is loaded otherwise it won't work in the if true case okay so it's the global one uh, what we can do is actually already here what we have to do is to do the sum of the total amount of all the rows right and we can put this next to the grand total let's do it so first things we have to set the variable value of what of our grand total right? because we're working on the grand total to text value so here on the fx what we have to do is to put in the global variable we have to say grand total okay plus what all the amounts that we have here inside the columns amount of the repeater so item dot amount now that we created and we store basically this this total amount uh, the grand total actually in this variable we have to show this variable and to do so what we have to do it's quite simple set text okay and let's uh, go to select the grand total here and i don't want to use the set the text but the rich text because we have some bold and different things so grand total okay here and next to it i want to use our global variables that is grand and actually I can put uh, for example euros uh, in front of it and we can use for example bold I don't know like like bold yeah like bold okay okay so let's see if it works actually so let's go in preview oh voila so as you can see when has been loaded you see, you see grand total euro and here we have the grand total so it's the sum okay of all the rows so the amounts that we have inside the rows okay okay so for the pending actually it's quite simple because we already created actually the case if the item is equal to pending so what we have to do is actually the same thing that we did for the the grand total so let's do it so first thing is to set variable value now of pending okay equal to here again we're going to take the pending it is always zero plus okay what again the item dot amount right item dot amount but since here again the condition is that they have to take only the amount if the uh the the tag is pending he is going to take only that one so only the pending one and again what we have to do is to set the text of the open payments in the in this case open payments or pending payments whatever you want to call it okay as rich text again and here pending payments we're going to put the pending because now we have you know our new uh global variable with with the data inside euros and pending let's do it bold okay okay and let's see if it works actually let's go in preview and you see Ah, it works and we can we can do some some math really quickly so pending is 6,000 plus uh, 5,000 it's 11,000 11,000 plus uh, 450 uh, so 11,450 and plus 650 wow it's 12,000 and a hundred you see so we did actually uh, some based on uh, payment statuses and also this video is finished i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me 
As usual, what I ask you is to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like, a comment, and see you in the next video. Bye!